That stretch of 93, passing by Franconia Notch in New Hampshire, offers scenic views of some of the best mountains New England has to offer. For decades, the cherry on top of this ride was the anticipation of coming up on the old man of the mountain. There he rested high atop Cannon Mountain, carved out by nature, against the New Hampshire skyline, with his melancholy expression forever stoic in the face of whatever Mother Nature had to throw at him. A symbol of strength, endurance, perseverance, and serenity, all carved into one. The people of New Hampshire really seemed to connect with the old man, recognizing that it was something completely unique to their state, and something that was also pretty damn cool. It's hard to say who first looked up and discovered the great stone face of the White Mountains. It's been long debated and safely assumed by some to be indigenous Native Americans. However, the first actual record kept in New Hampshire history seems to come from 1805 by land surveyors from Franconia. Tourism began shortly after with several notable authors and two U.S. presidents among some of the visitors over the years. By 1945, the old man's majestic profile would become New Hampshire's state emblem. He since appeared on highway signs, license plates, and of course, on the back of the state quarter. Sadly, the old man would eventually meet his fate, collapsing overnight on May 3, 2003. Years of tough New England weather finally caught up to him. To no fault of the people of New Hampshire, I might add, weatherproofing attempts were long in place. By the 1920s, initial work was started to fix a crack on the forehead, and in the late 50s, additional money was given by the state to improve preservation. Annually, the patchwork was kept up by Niels Nielsen, an experienced state highway worker eventually passing the title of caretaker on to his son in 1991. And we probably have them to thank for keeping the old man of the mountain up there as long as he stayed, as well as anyone else that helped along the way. The wake of the collapse left a big question mark. How best to honor the memory of the rock? This was a tough situation for New Hampshire to try and recover from. The old man became much more than just a tourist attraction, but rather a symbol that became synonymous with the state much like their motto, live free or die. The first thought was just to build a replica of what was there, and an idea that was quickly shot down by the governor. The people of New Hampshire decided to go in a different direction. 2010 brought us the first phase of the state sanctioned Old Man of the Mountain Memorial. An innovative concept to give the old man his spot back atop Cannon Mountain where he belongs. Right where the viewing area has always been is now a granite paved plaza on the shore of Profile Lake. This was the best vantage point for viewing the old man. Of course nowadays there isn't much to see. However thanks to some cleverly positioned steel rods, the old man is back. And here's how it works. The profile of rods have solid blocks attached that contain the image of the old man's face, which can be seen if you're positioned correctly. On the ground are footprints that direct you where to stand so that the profile meets your sight line. If you stand in the right spot and look straight up, it creates the perfect illusion of how Cannon Mountain looked before the old man of the mountain collapsed back in 2003. For a brief moment, it looks exactly like how I always remembered, something I haven't seen in over a decade. Additionally, the profile rods and new viewing area help bring back tourists and help educate the next generation about what was one of New England's most popular destinations. A decade after its collapse, there's definitely a line drawn on the sand. On one side are the people that are old enough to remember seeing the old man, and those that got out before it collapsed. The other side is the people that missed the opportunity, along with the next generation, not old enough to have seen it in person. To them, he's just a picture in a book, or on a postcard in a gift shop. The rods at least make it something more than that. And that's what you'll see, parents bringing their young children, explaining that this is where he was, still talking about the old man of the mountain like he was a real person. Overall, I think the state of New Hampshire made a good call on this one, because even if they spent all that money in building a replica up there, it would always be missing what made it so special in the first place, the fact that it wasn't man-made, and that Mother Nature designed it. The profile rods were an economically wise idea that at least give you a taste of what it was once like to view the old man, and that perfect spot high in the clouds is a welcome sign to anyone passing through. You may not see him driving by anymore, those days are long gone, but at least his memory is still well preserved where it matters, in the heart of the White Mountains of New Hampshire.